Yo guys, what is up? It is Nate Egan from Egan Visuals here, and today I'm bringing you a new tutorial on how to do video echoes. I've used this a lot in uh, the Justin So Music video and the New York video, and I think the Philly video. Pretty much like all my videos on YouTube, and then videos, a lot of my videos on Instagram and Twitter. By the way, if you don't follow me on there, go check it out. I upload a lot of videos I don't upload here. So anyway, I'm gonna show you how to show you what it looks like real quick, and then we'll get right to it. Alright, so this effect is actually really simple. The thing I love about it is that there's so many variations to it. It's I call it like an endless effect because there's so many different ways you can change it and reuse it with di different like fusions of different effects. It's, it's awesome. So, so what we'll do is we'll start off our, with our clip. Uh, you want to go to toggle animation on scale. And usually what I do, if you saw the, um, uh, what's it called, the slide tutorial, I do the same sort of keyframing. I go three frames ahead, and then I'll do like, you know, 110 to 120. So it gives it that little zoom in real quick. And then this part usually varies on a lot of things. Um, if you want, you know, the pan out slower, then you would move it further. If you want it faster, then you would put it closer. Um, usually I do a lot of different uh, smoothing techniques depending on what kind of style I'm doing. Um, for this I'm gonna add like five after like two frames just to kind of like you know let it stop earlier um, or smooth I mean. And then we'll go pretty far out. We'll go like around like here or something. Uh, I never get those right on the first try to be honest. I always have to kind of play around with it. If you get it right on the first try, uh, props to you. Okay, that looks pretty good. Um, maybe just... Okay, sweet. Alright, so what we'll do is we'll have that. And then what you want to do is you want to copy and paste. Or control C and then control V. Or you can go up here and go to edit to paste. Uh, okay, so... Yeah, so we have the same as that clip right above the other one. Make sure this one's above the original clip. You want to go to opacity and make it 30% from the start. And you'll see why in a second. So we'll go over to these clips. Um, usually what I do is I just completely get rid of this third keyframe if you actually add that. Um, then we want to go to the second keyframe where it zooms in. And we want, to, we want to make this number a lot bigger. Like I start off like 160. So as you can see it kind of has like this weird like frame blending sort of look to it. And then what we'll do is we'll go like, you can get rid of this one too. Um, just like add another keyframe like really far back, whatever, and make the number like really high. So as you can see, it's like zooming in more, but the original stays the same. So like that. And now if it looks too slow, like like I said before, like you can change like control the speeds by how close you have the third keyframe or the, the last keyframe. Uh, I wanted that a lot faster, so we're gonna move it closer. That was still. Oh, I forgot. My bad. Um, you have to change the opacity to zero to when you want it to stop. So, like, right around here, kind of gives it that fade effect. Oh, that was perfect. So, let me bump this up to full quality so you can really see what it looks like. I keep saving my accent. It has such a bad habit. Well, not a bad habit, but. So, yeah, my computer's lagging on it, but as you can see, it looks pretty nice. Um. I can show you guys some like variations you can add to this. So, so for example, one effect I like using with this is I like using color balance, and I drag it to the second top clip, and you just scale animation start on zero, and then I like, you know, putting just random different colors to the the fading part, because it kind of just gives it that cool. I don't know, just like that cool glow to it. I don't know. But there's so many different ways you can use this. Um, you can even use like video overlays with it, which is something I showed before. Like if you watched my glitch tutorial video, which has got amazing support by the way, thank you guys for that. Uh, if you like use that effect with this, like the overlay, it looks so sweet. Uh, you, you guys are gonna see it in like future videos of mine on my next video <clears throat> that I'm working on. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, thank you guys for watching. If you guys have any more questions, please leave a comment below. I'm trying to get to all of them. Subscribe if this helped. Leave a like if this helped as well. 
And if you guys ever use any of these effects, please link me or message me, and I'll make sure to comment on them.